Hey guys, welcome back to The Poor Investor. Today we're going to be talking about is Chia still worth it? My journey on how it's going so far because I wanted to become a millionaire and I'll let you know if that actually happened yet or not, especially with Chia. So I start off my journey with I wanted to mine Ethereum. Looking for GPUs was one of the most difficult things in the world. I sort of kind of gave up because not only that when I did find something, it was extremely overpriced. So what was the next best thing? Hard drives. Everyone had them in stock and they came in ridiculously large amounts that I would never ever in my life use its full capacity to. Now because of Chia, I'm actually sitting on over 200 plus terabytes. Amazing you might say, but far from it. So let me explain where I am today. If you're new to Chia and trying to figure out if this is for you or not, just hear me out. I'll try to be as simple as possible but everything that I've learned so far transfer my knowledge to you. So what exactly is Chia? It's proof of space, okay? What does that actually mean? Any hard drive space that you have available, you can farm Chia and get these XCHs. When we first started that, there was no pools. All these plots that we've made and we're trying to farm, I never hit a block until the three months period because the network space just kept on growing tremendously. Please hit that subscribe button as well. Make sure that we share this out to everyone who's considering farming Chia. So let's take a look at my current setup. I have my farmer, two harvesters, just plodding away as we speak because I still have some hard drives. And ridiculously enough, I actually picked up additional hard drives a few days ago because it was on sale. Now you may ask, I didn't become a millionaire farming Chia, so why would I keep on putting more money into it? I haven't even made back the returns that I actually spent on this. But please remember, Bram and Gene and the whole rest of the Chia team did advise you that do not spend any money on farming Chia. Just use whatever you have available. And your rewards happening immediately are much more than they will be in the future. So it's been really worth it for people to actually buy completely new storage media. Well, unfortunately, I did not have 200 plus terabytes available lying around. I did have to acquire them somehow. It's caused a huge demand for drives. And my hopes were really high at one point. So pretty much I started at buying eight terabyte hard drives and then the addiction kicked in, dopamine. Is that almost every company in our modern society exploits this deeply rooted reward system by putting it on steroids. There are millions of experts specifically designing their products and internet platforms to release as much dopamine as possible in order to make us come back over and over again. That's why social media platforms switch from chronological feeds to to an algorithm-based feed, and that's why video games have levels and ranking systems to keep us coming back. The dopamine kicked in. Buying one hard drive mean, meant buying another hard drive, and another, until you satisfy your addiction with plotting and farming. Then you start analyzing prices. Where can you get the best price per terabyte? Then you start looking on eBay, and the Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, on the forums, because people were actually getting rid of hard drives because they gave up on the project. But mind you, the project only started a few months ago. So you joined your Keybase, your Reddit, your Facebook, your Discord, and then more importantly, you joined Poor Investor. So you can follow him on his journey on where this Chia thing is going. So what future does Chia actually have? Besides checking the XCH prices every day and every so often, just to see where we're at. I mean, I do have a few XCHs already farmed, but there's nothing to be proud of, to be honest. So will I answer this question? Is Chia still worth farming? It really depends on your expectation on a return. Is it a gamble? I would say yes. Will you ever have a return on your money? Possibly. How long would it take? No clue. But do consider the infancy of Chia. The team is growing. They are hiring more talent. They are still releasing YouTube videos, AMAs, and questions are being asked to the team. They have a few projects in the horizon. Example, the World Bank if you look that up and the link will also be in the description below and it will be IPO one day or at least that's what the white paper claims if you were a big fan of BitTorrent that may be a reason why you may want to follow this project along just to see where Bram takes it but as we speak now the network space is so large that if Chia did not exist farmers and miners well farmers out there if they continue doing plots if they continue farming Chia would never go away not at this point. There are a few things to consider with this project. They do have a large team. They're very transparent. But a lot of people still think about the 21 pre-mine. And what's that all about? Time will only be able to tell what can be done with that. 
especially if the price goes any higher. But even as of today, with the pre-mine being at 21 million and the XCH prices of a little under $200. I wanna thank you guys for being here and enjoying this video today. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon.